Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to update to the la latest iOS system or the software update that the, the um, district has now said that you can update to. Uh, don't be nervous when you when you see, oh, I have to update this. That's okay. All of you can do it. I want you to take a look at the center, the settings, and look at the settings. Now you'll see that number one next to the setting. Now if you look around the screen you'll find your settings there. It's the gray with kind of I guess wheels and gears and whatnot. You'll see the number one. The number one there tells us that we have that we have something to update in there. Now the latest update is the 7.0.4. So that's not really that important. What you need to know is you are now given the green light to go ahead and update. What I want you to do before you do this update is to make sure you have went ahead and you sync your M class twice before you do any updates. That's the word from the district. Sync them twice and you should be good. Once you've sync, sunk them twice, what I want you to do is go ahead and click on settings there. Now, I want you to look on the left side. Don't be nervous when you see all this, but settings there. On the left, look for general. It's highlighted in blue. You'll see my number one next to settings, or next to general there, number one. And then up near the top, it says software update. Underneath the about, the second one down. And you also see the number one. Go ahead and click on that. Once you've clicked on that, it's going to then bring up the I the iOS update there it's 7.0.4 if you have not updated to the new iOS yet iOS 7 at all maybe yours says 6 something well then don't do what I'm about to show you if you've already got that and yours says 7.0.4 then you're ready to go you're going to click that button that says install now once you click install now it's going to give you the, the terms and conditions, just scroll through there, read all that, then agree. Once you agree, it's going to actually take about, took mine about five minutes, maybe six minutes. Your screen will go black, don't worry, that's okay. Once it goes black, it's just updating on you. After it goes black, you are then ready to go in and enter that number again that you had from earlier. Probably whenever you turn on your iPad, you have to enter a number to get back on. I've already done that. My screen now is after, like I said, five to six minutes, it's loading and done its thing. You'll probably saw an Apple symbol uh, with the rest of the screen was black. The settings now does not have that number one. There's no update anymore. And just to make sure everything went well, I want you to go ahead and click on your settings. You should see, again, go back in, you'll see the general on the left. Click on software update, and now it's going to tell you your software is up to date. At that point, everything is perfect exactly where it needs to be. You're finished. That's all you have to do. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask and let me know.